A trial for a suspected bank robber got underway. Get anything in juicy from the Doyle chat? You mean the the comments on the video on my Doyle video, the most recent one, on my uh, YouTube channel? I don't know. Let me see. John Doyle is using a child murderer as a political prop, which I did recently. Oh, no, that's a pretty good ratio. I want to be a douche and like my own video. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not so far, but I think I removed some comments that were just being, you know, Doyle uh, apologists, and I'm not about that noise. I don't care. I really don't. I'm not here to have a fucking conversation with a bunch of assholes. You know, here's this video if you want to check it out sometime. I made my point in the video, and if you disagree, that's fine. I don't care. Superior court today, but it looks like the jury in the case will never have a chance to see the defendant. Tyree Wortham said... Oh, his private chat. No, I haven't looked at it yet. I think tomorrow on my day off, I'm going to start doing that. And state laws don't apply to him and is refusing to come to court or allow a public defender to represent him. In a story you'll only see on KXLY4, Jeff Humphrey details Wortham's alleged crimes and his ill-fated legal strategy. Aaron Wortham is literally turning his back on the criminal justice system, saying that he's a sovereign individual and that the state doesn't have any jurisdiction to prosecute him. And Days off don't usually require work. Eh. I'm trying to build my Twitch and my YouTube, which is going to involve lots and lots of days of work with no real days off entirely for a long period of time. And that's fine. I understand that. Jake did the same thing when he was building his channel. And he has like 9,000 followers on Twitch now, you know? So once I get to that level, then I'll get to take a breather. So now in a very rare move, Spokane Superior Court is trying him in absentia. Please rise. Tyree Wortham elected not to stand up when his judge entered the courtroom this morning while correct. Oh, that's not a good call. Even if you don't respect the court, even if you don't respect the judge, not going to help you to piss him off, right? Corrections officers looked on. Wortham made it clear he was not going to participate in his trial. I'm not here by consent. The court doesn't have federal jurisdiction to hear this matter. Wortham is suspected of knocking off a pair of Garland District banks in late 2013 and early 2014. He thinks because robbing a bank is a fa- <laughs> Careless Whiskers says, I wanted to start a Twitch, then realized I had nothing anyone would want to hear me say. Hey, I feel the same way about me, but I just open my mouth and stuff comes out. Doesn't tick, doesn't help in real life, but apparently enough of the random things that come out of my face hole, the main one, people want to listen to because here we are <laughs> you'd be surprised if you just can keep your mouth running long enough people will typically listen even if it's bullshit federal crime only the federal government can prosecute him this morning he asked judge john cooney to dismiss the charges against him the court will deny your motion to dismiss and deny your motion to remove to federal court as far as trial is concerned are you ready to proceed i'm not part i don't i'm not participating in this trial and so <laughs> you don't have the right to not participate in a trial when you've been charged with a crime. That's not how it works. Again, I don't understand what these th people think the court system is and what the legal system is and what society is. To an extent, everything in society that's part of sort of our social contract involving our laws and governance. Yeah, it's kind of coercive, but that's kind of how all society works, right? We're a, a social species, and socialization involves conforming people to the laws of the society that people in the society agree are right. So you don't have to consent to your trial. If that were the case, no one would be in prison unless that's their kink, in which case we'd basically have federally funded uh, kink jailhouses, which if anyone's in the porn industry, I guess give me a call. I'll write you a screenplay. How hard is it to write a porn screenplay? Oh, hello, corrections officer Wang. Ah, I, I, I seem to have lost my clothing. Will you help me There's find them? The tools of and then you just write in parentheses, and then they bone. Screenplay by Hannah.
unless Wortham changes his mind, his jury will hear the case. Why this got to make my hometown look bad, says PK That's the Lost. What jurors agree <laughs> this is a photo of Wortham before he put on a mask and allegedly robbed one of those banks. I don't know what to say. I mean, I... That's not funny about that. I mean, what do you, I, I don't know what else, you know, people want me <laughs> A cop in porn say. still Six bad? Arrest, worth <laughs> the next scene will be corrections officer Wang. Well, this is why we'll get officer Wang on the side of the audience. Officer Wang will see another corrections officer um, exhibiting far too much use of force with an inmate. And then he'll whistle blow on the entire organization. And only the first 15 minutes of the movie are gratuitous, like, PIV sex scenes. The rest is going to be a character study drama about a corrections officer named Wang fighting the system. You gotta, you gotta entertain yourself during your refractory period. Wortham has done a lot of research and feels that as an indigenous person, he has certain rights provided to him in a United Nations treaty that prevents him from being prosecuted. Wortham thinks that treaty trumps the U.S. Constitution. I just want to bring it to their attention that they're committing treason. You know, everybody is not a United States citizen. We have other options out there where we can be free, and I am one of those free people who is, who is held here captive against my will. Hmm. Clearly, Wortham thinks the law is on his side, Aaron, but today a judge disagreed and is taking Wortham to trial with or without him. It may sound like an easy win for the prosecution, but actually the state as well as a judge is going to have to work extra hard to make sure that they do not violate Wortham's rights, tr trying him in abstentia. Otherwise, they're going to end up giving him an avenue for appeal. Reporting live at Spokane Superior Court, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. Found guilty, sentencing hearing. Well, the jury and the judge did not buy that man's argument. He's still screaming, I'm not here by consent. Correct. That's what being convicted or charged with a crime is. That's the point. You're being held. That's the point. Last time, convicting him of robbing two North Spokane... It wouldn't exactly be a punishment for your crime if you just got to decide whether or not you want to stay at the jail, right? Banks. Today, the man who says that our state has no jurisdiction over him learned that he will spend 72 years Oof. in prison. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. Tyree Wortham did not take part in his own trial, saying that he's a sovereign citizen and the court can't prosecute him. But today, Judge John Cooney sentenced Wortham for the crime. kxy 4s Grace Ditzler working for you. She is at the courthouse tonight. And Grace, he has been so defiant. How did he handle his day in court? Nadine, Wortham tried to change the conversation from him robbing... Yeah, what was the charges? Was it just robbery? Because 70 years There's seems like crazy for happened. robbery. Was it armed robbery? I can maybe see that if he's actively threatening people's lives with a loaded gun. But... I don't know. I guess I need to hear more about it. And did anyone get killed? I wasn't paying attention during the first part, I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking about my fake porn script. <laughs> At gunpoint to his <laughs> oh careless whiskers thanks for gifting a sub because he claims that There's he's no longer a u.s citizen but that argument didn't work out in his favor please rise wortham continued to defy the court today by refusing must be a fairly old story Cooney. nadine and woodworth is our mayor now hmm. multiple times the contract claim has nothing to do with the criminal it does because I'm, I'm, let him finish sir wortham argued that he has changed his nationality Ooh, I have an idea. Here's a, here's here's the, we're gonna do a, a spin-off movie. It's gonna be a sovereign citizen in jail, and it's gonna he's gonna walk in and and he's gonna be just like banging someone. And uh, uh, this one's gonna be a gay porn because we gotta be inclusive. And they're gonna be like, "What are you doing? You aren't allowed to fornicate in my prison." And he's being gonna lean in close, be like, "We're not fornicating." My penis is traveling. <laughs> I amuse myself more than is uh, right for a person to.
municipality and therefore Spokane County doesn't have the authority to try him. I was not involved in any of this. Um, the reason I haven't participated in the trial is because of my nationality and it will go against all of my morals to participate in something such, such fraudulently uh, instituted. But Judge Cooney didn't entertain his argument, telling Wortham his claims were a civil matter and didn't apply to the criminal sentencing for the armed robberies. Even after hearing painful- <laughs> The pseudo-sapien says, I'm not in prison, I'm in my body, and so is Ted. <laughs> oh. Testimonies from the people he robbed, Wortham maintained his innocence. He apologized, sort of. I'm sorry on the behalf of those who have done this to you and the trauma that they have caused, um, like I said, I have nothing to do with this whatsoever. One of those victims, Lori Skillman, wishes Wortham would have taken responsibility. Well, I was there. I saw him and not taking responsibility for something that he did, especially the young women behind the counter uh, pointing guns at them, is wrong. Wortham says the victim shouldn't be upset with him. The victim should be mad at, this, at, the, at the state government for their fraudulent activities. And I mean, dude, you, you, you pointed a loaded gun at them. You can't, you can't threaten people's lives and expect them to not be mad at you. And deceiving you to believe and to think that these, that these crimes are actually, are actually crimes. And he remained confident that everything will eventually work out in his favor. Whatever sentence you Two counts of armed robbery, se robbery 70 something years. Still seems a little high, but hey, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know exactly what goes into all the sentencing and what all these specific crimes were that he was charged with. As suppose I need is is obviously good is is what you guys want. This court hasn't provided me with any delegation. He's not being convicted. So, He's traveling you know, to jail. <laughs> And in court, Wortham also indicated that he plans to file a lawsuit against Spokane County with that same argument There's that they didn't have the, the jurisdiction to try him. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. The Stellar Sea Cow says, okay, so according to him, I can point a gun at him and it's the state's fault. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it seems uh, not like a great idea. You know? Dead air! <laughs> Hmm. Okay, a little bit of a shorter stream today. We haven't even been going for three hours, but I'm uh, tired. So I think we're going to call it a day for the stream. Thank you everyone so much for coming. I had a lot of fun today. I'll be back um, Monday for Chud Watch. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to check out all my past streams and all my stream highlights. They're all put into playlists. They're all very organized. If you want to watch just full streams, they have them. If you want just highlights, we have a playlist for that. If you want a whole Sovereign Citizen playlist, we have that. So on and so forth. So check it out. So, uh, yeah. Chat is valid. I'm gonna go spend some time with Baja. I think we're gonna watch Rocky IV after we go get some pizza. I'm gonna have her watch the Rocky movies. And I think she likes them so far. At least she said she has, so that's good. Gonna go watch Rocky punch a Russian communist. I must break you. Chad is valid. Oh yeah, and the robot. I told her about the robot. I showed her the scene with the robot. Which I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have just waited. And had her explore and discover the robot on her own time. Is Jeff streaming? If so, I'll raid them. Hold on, let me look. Jeff, what's Jeff doing? We're a couple of drunk. Oh yeah, they're doing their passions view. They watch like the soap opera together. And it's fun. So yeah, sure. Raid. Is it real Jeff Holiday? I always forget. Real Jeff Holiday. So enjoy that stream, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. And I'll see y'all Monday for Chud Watch. See you next time. Oh wait, I gotta do the raid. It's going to be awkward for 10 seconds while I have to wait for this. Let me think. Okay, so the next scene in the porno, after he's like, I'm not, we're not fornicating. I'm traveling into his butthole. He's going to do a whole thing about my penis doesn't live in your society. It lives in Ted's mouth. Good night, everyone.